Uh, so hi everyone, my name is Jasmine de Leon. I am a senior at Seton Hall University and I conducted my research through a National Science Foundation Research Fellowship at Syracuse University. So this is a layout of my presentation today, my process, methodology, results, conclusion, and implications for further research. So the deep question of my research is, what makes good reasoning and how do we know? My analysis takes this project to a 10,000 foot picture and asks, are there linguistic markers that are indicators of good reasoning? It's important to note for my research, which is on intelligence analysis, that intelligence has national and world altering implications. A case study of this um, is that the intelligence analysis that program in Iraq led us into a war on faulty intelligence, um, and that war has impacted our foreign policy to this day. Another example is in 2021, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence released an estimate on climate change. And it's a concern of the United States and especially the intelligence community, how climate change will destabilize governments and democracies around the globe, put a strain on food and energy systems and military readiness, and create a greater demand for aid and humanitarian relief. So simply put, intelligence is important and has huge implications on the world. I think that the intelligence space can be a little bit difficult to talk about. Most people don't know much about how intelligence analysis works. So this is a little bit of background. In the US intelligence community, analysts write analytic reports that are used by people like generals and policymakers to make decisions. The research that I built on acknowledges that a lot of analytic reports lack clarity and defensibility, specifically when addressing gaps or alternative explanations in research. And my research began with the understanding that in the intelligence community, analysts are trained in structured techniques, which means tools to improve methods of reasoning. So maybe I make up a map or create a timeline to understand the chronology of an event. But what's unclear is if analysts are also trained in nuances of writing to put together their reports. So here's the research that I built on. My mentor and I worked on a project with hundreds of analytical reports. Um, there is a codebook also created based on ICD-203. This is an intelligence community directive that governs the standards for producing and understanding intelligence products. Each of those reports was coded based on that codebook for reasoning. I used those reasoning scores and the reports themselves to understand possible linguistic indicators of good reasoning. So this is an example of a report. Um, this is the source of all my data. Which level at the top is one of several fictional cases? Um, the question here is which person with a name level is associated with a crime? Each of these reports came to be because there were things like social media posts or a police report or articles. And the report was created by a Turk worker um, to answer a question of, for example, which level is it? Um, Amazon Mechanical Turk is a platform where people recruit um, others to do tasks online. This Turk worker answered the question following a format based on ICD-203 for what makes good reasoning. So you can see here what's included is the final judgment, a probability score, um, justification, assumptions, information evaluation, alternative hypotheses, and gaps. I used 96 of these reports and the scores for each of the reports on the reasoning, and this makes up all my data. So this is my process. Um, I did a literature review to understand the intelligence community and what goes into this kind of data analysis. I also read 20 reports to form hypotheses on linguistics and other drivers of good and bad reasoning. I also did the report as if I were an Amazon mechanical Turk worker. Um, and what I found is that reasoning seems to be reflected in writing. So I was trying to understand the patterns of how reasoning was reflected in that writing to do my analysis. From this, I create an Excel of 96 of those reports and collected data points. And um, I used Python to run text analysis and an OLS regression on parts of speech. So I made other charts, but here are some of my results. These are the p-values of the correlations between the part of speech variables and the sum score word count and case name. So scum, sum score here is the reasoning score for each of the reports. I wanna highlight adjective proportion at this arrow. Um, this is the proportion of adjectives to each report's word count. So this p-value matrix shows that adjective proportion is positively correlated with a higher reasoning score and no other part of speech was strongly correlated. 
in this OLS regression, when I controlled for all parts of speech and the report case adjectives, and um, what I found is that adjectives, proper nouns, and pronouns are statistically significant. A limitation of this regression is it doesn't control for word count. Um, but what does this mean? So the last sort of part of my research is that I conducted an expert interview with a professor at the Georgetown University Master's in Applied Intelligence Program, and she's also a FBI analyst. What she told me is that she never recalled writing during her formal intelligence training. And she also, in her classes, tells her students who are going to work in the intelligence field to not use adjectives in their reports because she thought that including more adjectives added more bias. But what we're finding here are some contradictory findings. An expert is telling you that adjectives are bad, but when you ask analysts to score reports reasoning, they pay attention to adjectives, whether they're aware of it or not. So writing reflects reasoning. I think this contradictory finding, um, the thing that this analyst said makes a good report, raises a lot of questions, but I think this data and our analysis can also show us something. I think that adjectives and proper nouns and pronouns add more concreteness to writing and thus reflects higher reasoning. But I also think that it shows that writing really matters. Um, this raises questions about the ways that analysts are different agencies. Um, and I also think that we can also look at how analysts are trained in other countries and that this sort of data can help us possibly build um, an AI and looking at linguistic indicators of reasoning. So thank you to all these people and thank you for listening to my presentation. It is an honor and I'm excited to answer your questions.